Hey guys, what's up? MoneyB123 here with today. I'm going to show you how to sim unlock your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Mine's the AT&T version, so specifically I'm talking about the i317 today. So I'm going to show you how to sim unlock this so that you can use uh, this phone on any other GSM carrier. So that you can put in a T-Mobile SIM card and actually use it on T-Mobile. Or use it on any other GSM carrier for that matter. So first thing you need is a SIM card from a carrier that's different than the branded carrier. So obviously mine's branded AT&T and this is a T-Mobile card. Specifically this is a Net10 T-Mobile card. So if you live in an area where you um, have T-Mobile coverage, you could probably go to a T-Mobile store, maybe get one of these for free or for very cheap or even maybe you have a friend where you could borrow one of these for just a little bit to be able to do this. If you live in an area where you don't have T-Mobile, where you can't get a SIM card real easy, um, let me show you an option here, and, and that's my case. I don't live anywhere near T-Mobile coverage. Um, so on eBay, if you'll just search Net10 T-Mobile SIM, you can get one of these SIM cards for 99 cents, and that includes shipping. Um, so like right here, T-Mobile SIM, 99 cents. T-Mobile SIM, 99 cents, free shipping. So if you if you don't live in a T-Mobile area where you can get a different one, there's a cheap option for you to be able to get this. But you do need a SIM card from a different carrier. So um, I've already got an, another T-Mobile SIM. I've got two of those. I've got it already in here. And I want to show you that um, you can see here it says invalid SIM card. Okay? Saying so, this is locked to AT&T. That T-Mobile SIM card is not going to work in this phone. That's what that's telling me there. Okay, now, <clears throat> if you look at some of the older YouTube videos and, and um, like XDA threads and all that on unlocking this, that was back whenever these phones were on an older radio. Okay, and, and, uh, and I'll show you what, what we're going to do to fix that. So, Here's the problem I had. Okay, you go into your dialer and uh, you push star pound one nine seven three two eight six four zero, and I'll slow down and show that to you um, better when we go through this the second time. But you go option one, option one, option eight, uh, network lock, and then right here, this number four, right free sporting on. That option has changed in these newer radios, and I've got a newer radio right now. So with this option four the way it is now, I cannot unlock my phone. So I need to go back to an older modem or older radio, and um, that's what I'm going to show you in this video is how to go back to that older radio so that you can get the option four that you need to um, to be able to to unlock this thing. Okay, first thing, let's go into settings, and let me show you what I'm talking about here with this radio. So you go into settings, more about device, and if you'll notice here under my baseband version, it's kind of grayed out, so it's kind of hard to see. But under baseband version, it says I317 UCU BMJ4. Okay? That's a newer radio, a newer modem, newer modem. It's not the newest one, but it's one of the newer ones. So with that, with that modem, I cannot unlock my phone. Okay, so over on the computer, let me show you what we're going to need to get. And I'll have a link in the description to all of these threads and posts. So I'm going over here to the Galaxy Note one-stop shop for kernels, ROMs, guides, modems, all of that. So you're going to scroll down here to section 3 where it says modems or radios, same thing. Um, so under AT&T, you need to download two of these files. The first one you need to download is this UCALJ2. This doesn't matter wh wh what you're on or anything. This is the one we need. This is the modem we need to be able to unlock our phone. So you need to download this I317 UCALJ2. Now on my phone, you just saw that it said I317 UC UCU BMJ4. That's the one I'm going to download. So you need to look at your phone, go under settings, more about device, and see which one of these is on your phone. And whichever one you have on your phone, download that same one. So for me, I downloaded this UCUBMJ4. So I've downloaded the UCLJ2 and the UCUBMJ4. Now, so what I'm going to do with those two files is I'm going to put those two files on my phone memory. Don't put it on your card storage. Put it on your phone memory, Okay. So let me go over here and just show you that I've already done that. That is already on my phone. So I'm going to device storage. And I think it should be down here at the bottom. Okay. So you can see I've, I've downloaded those to compu my computer, but I've already put them on here. This UCALJ2 
and this UCU BMJ4. I've got both of those on my phone. Leave both of them as a dot .zip. Do not unzip them. Just leave them as a dot .zip. Put them on your phone storage, not your SD card memory. Okay? So that's the first step. Second step is we're going to need to flash a custom recovery so that we can so that we can put these this modem on here that we need. So again, I'll have a link in the description to this. You're going to download this Odin flashing program, Odin 3.07. You're going to click on the word here, and it's going to download that for you. Okay? So that's one thing you need, and that's a pretty small file. I think it's like uh, I think it's less than two megabytes. So that's pretty quick. The other thing you need is your is a custom recovery, and we're going to be using T T W R P today, which stands for Team Win Recovery Project. So down here, close to the bottom, and they update this, so it may change. So if you're watching this later, it may be different, but um, I'm I'm going to download this Open Recovery T W R P 2.7.0.1, and you want the file that ends in dot tar. A dot T A R. That's the one you want to download. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we've got. Let me just go back through those those four things. You've downloaded these two modems. You've put these two modems on your phone. Now you've downloaded the Odin flashing program and the T W R P. Those two are gonna. These last two are gonna stay on your computer. So this Odin three. Point zero seven. I'm going to take that and put it out on my desktop. Okay. And I've already done that right here. You can see Odin 3.07.zip. So with that, I'm going to open the .zip. I need to unzip this. I'm going to take this folder that's already in there and I'm just going to drag it and drop it out on my desktop to extract those files out of there. Okay. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. Then the other thing is, is this TWRP, this open recovery, I'm going to take that file and drop it out on my desktop as well. Okay, now I'm going to open that folder, that Odin 3.07 folder. I'm going to click on the .exe. I'm going to say yes and let that program open. Now, over on my phone, I want to completely turn my phone off. So if you want to go through the power and off process, that's fine. I like to just pull the battery it's quicker <clears throat> okay now so what I want to do on my phone <coughs> is I want to put it into um, into download mode so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna push three buttons here we're gonna push the volume down home, uh, home and then power push the volume down and home first together while holding those two push the power and continue holding all three of those Till it brings you into this menu, let all three of them go at the same time. And then we want to push volume up to put it into download mode. <coughs> okay, so this is what we want. Now with the Odin 3 program open on my computer and my phone in download mode, I'm going to plug in the USB cable. And back over in my computer now you can see that it's reading this on a port. Okay, that's what I want. If if this doesn't change colors, it doesn't show some number here, COM18 or COM whatever, some, some number here, this doesn't light up, then that means you probably don't have the proper drivers. The easiest way to get the drivers you need is to download the Samsung Keys, that's K-I-E-S program, to your computer, install your computer, and it'll put the drivers on your computer for you. But you're probably good if you've already been using your, your phone with your computer. Okay, so, so what I want to do now is I'm going to click on this PDA button and I want to go find that open recovery TWRP file and it's right here for me. Open recovery TWRP 2.7.0.1, the one that ended in .tar. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open that file up and it's going to open up here right next to this PDA button. Okay, so with that file open, with it reading my phone, I'm going to push start and it's going to flash that custom recovery to my phone and it'll take just a few seconds you can see here it says reset um, everything passed everything's good so now over here on my phone you can see that it's rebooting and um, so it's what I want to do now is I want to boot back into my custom recovery so I'm just going to power it off again <clears throat> And I want to boot up into my custom recovery. 
So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold volume up, home, and power. So volume up, home, push power, hold all three of those. Continue holding those for, I don't know, it's going to take 10 seconds or so. Oops. Hold all three of those, and it'll say team win in just a second. Okay, so here's where I'm going to install that older modem. So I'm going to go to install, and it should be down here at the bottom. And I'm going to install this i317 ucalj2 modem fixed. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to swipe to confirm flash, and it's going to flash this modem, this new radio for me. Should take just a second. All right, so you can see there it says successful. I'm going to reboot system. Okay, so it's rebooting. You can see there it still says invalid sim. Okay, once it gets to here, I'm just going to push dismiss. Okay, now should be able to unlock. So I'm going to go back over to my dialer. I'm going to push star pound 197 32 and then pound. Okay. Now we're going to push number 1 UMTS one debug screen, eight phone control, and six network lock. Okay, and now you can see it's changed my options here. Before it just had this wrap free, now it has this NW lock, NV data initializer, whatever that whatever that means there. So that number four option is the one I want now. Okay. So we're going to time this. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get as close as I can. We're going to push number three. Once I push number three, I want it to stay on that option for about 30 seconds. Okay? So I'm going to push three, and I'm going to start my stopwatch here. Okay, once it gets to close to 30 seconds, I'm going to push the menu button here, and it should give me a back option. Okay, 30 seconds, I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to push number four. <clears throat> and once I push number four, I'm going to let that stay for about a minute. <clears throat> Okay, so we're about to a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and restart. <clears throat> okay, and so you can see now, instead of it having an invalid SIM, it's showing me voicemail. Okay, so no longer an invalid SIM. It didn't ask me for the network unlock code. So my Galaxy Note 2 is unlocked now. Okay, now <clears throat> back over in settings. More about device. You can see it says UCALJ2. That's the modem we flashed in our custom recovery. So now I want to go back and I want to fix that. I want to put it back where I was at. So I'm going to go back into my custom recovery. So I'm going to pull my battery here again. I'm going to push volume up, home, power. Continue holding all three of those.
I'm going to go to install. Down here at the bottom. Now this time I'm going to flash the one that was on my phone originally. The UCUBMJ4. So I'm going to click on that one. Confirm to flash. So I'm going to put it back where I was whenever I started. Successful reboot system. And uh, I'll check it and show you in just a second, but I'm going to be back to where I need to be. Okay, so just going back over here, I'm just going to show you more about the glass. Back where I started, should be good to go. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, Dave. Hope this helped you.